Larry Hoover. Welcome to another episode of Behind the Visor with Big Meech, presented by the Battles End. I got my dog here, Isaiah Holmes. How you doing, brother? Yeah, fam. How you doing? I'm doing well, man. I appreciate you coming on, the, coming on the show, man. Um, you know, just wanted to go ahead and start, just letting the, uh, Florida State fans know, just get to know uh, a little bit more about yourself, man. Uh, yeah, man. How y'all doing? I'm Isaiah, um, number 26, uh, play running back for Florida State. Uh, that's pretty much it right now. Yeah, I know you had obviously had some adversity that you had to go through at Penn State. You think um, that just kind of led into the decision more, or, or what was you know the decision to come back to Florida State and you know, being back in Florida? Man, uh, it was really just really getting back close to family. Man, I was so far away. I want I wanted good food. I wanted food. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, Southern food for real. Uh, being back home with my family, being close to my you know my daughter, man, and. You know, being able to have my family be able to come to more than one game, come here, man, I, it's been been a blessing, man. I, yeah. you know, one of the best things I made, and also, you know, I feel like I could come here and contribute and showcase my talents, and you know, what I'm saying, and be a guy that you know I've always thought I could be. So, so as you mentioned, you know, living in Champs Hall, LT, you know, how much does it go to show the unselfishness in the room, and you know. Cause you guys were generally close. It wasn't. It wasn't no fake, fake love and all that. So, you know, just, just talk about you know kind of the culture that breeds. Um, I think it starts with you know Coach Zach and how he comes in the room. You know, being an selfish coach and just tells us uh, you know about being a selfishness and we buy into it. We buy into the culture of the room and just being around them, man, is 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 like like a real life brotherhood. Something I I've never felt before, especially being in college, being around uh, Trey. You know, me and him. You, Obviously, that's my right hand man. Yeah. You know, we pretty much did everything together, man. Just picking off his brain, picking off LT and all this type of stuff. And we also, we all, we all, everybody in that room wanted to see each other succeed. You know, we wanted to see Trey go get 100 yards and score three touchdowns. LT, you know, win the MVP at the AC Championship. Like, we, we genuinely, we genuinely wanted that. And of course, we all want to eat ourselves, but it wasn't. It was. It was more about seeing your brother win than seeing yourself. Because once you give, once you praise up somebody else, you want to see somebody else succeed. It's gonna come back to you. I think one of my favorite moments from last year with you specifically, uh, we had that screen versus North Alabama, uh, <laughs> and we, you know we, we we took it to the house, man. You know we followed my way and we scored, but you know one of the first guys on the sideline, you know, come to celebrate with you was the running backs, man, L LT and Trey. So. I mean, it just goes to show, you know, it doesn't matter who's in there, bro. They just want to see see each other eat. Was there was there a moment last year, or you know, a couple of moments during during the season that some of your favorite moments? When I I scored my uh, I scored my first touchdown, I was an old, you know, I ain't really I ain't scored in the last like two years, and yeah. I'm just so used to getting the end zone. So that was a moment. I think my best moment was the Duke game. We was down like I want to say like ten zero. Yeah. And you know, I was I was in. Me and LT really was in. We drove all the way down the field and started getting you know first test on the game, and that was like a moment, like being in that that crunch time moment, like coach trusting me, like being there scoring. I'm like gaining some confidence, okay. like okay, no, yeah. I'm like okay, yeah, I can do this. Yeah. So that was definitely a moment. Uh, so I also want to take it a different route. You know, your uncle man was the uh, first African American player at Florida State. Man, just kind of talk about. You know what that means to you, man. It's really mind blowing to me. I tell people all the time. They were like, "For real?" I'm like, "Yeah, it's kind of crazy." Yeah. But like, man, it, it was it, it's cool, man. I, you know, especially I was getting recruited. He was trying to tell me to come to Florida State, which I, you know, I didn't. Course, but yeah. you know, and I told him, I told him when I was in the portal, I'm like, I know I want to go. I told him I want to come back. I want I want to come here, and you know, being here with him just helping me out through that process. And you know, even last year, I would text him, you know, call him. You know, when things were, you know, I seen weary, you know, always giving me great advice and, you know, connected with people, you know, that was here. So, you know, having him here and having him, you know, that is, this put, I would say, once in a lot of time opportunities to have somebody like that, man. And yeah. I'm, I'm grateful for him. I'm grateful for, you know, him, you know, having my back in you know, tough situations. You know, obviously, you know, he he came uh, to the pit game last year and was, was talking to, in front of the team. And, you know, he had a lot of great advice. But personally for you, what are some, some, uh, some advice that he's been able to give you? Most importantly, trust God. Like, really, really trusting him, man, knowing that it, it ain't your way, it's not your plan, his plan. And just keep putting one foot forward. Never, you know, let nobody, uh, you know, take your joy away. And just, you know, telling me those things and doing, you know, doing the extra, doing the extra things to, you know, put myself in position to be, you know, uh, uh, as, you know, Coach Novell says, taking the edge. So. When did it really, really register to you that what he had accomplished and the magnitude of that? I really say, 
really high school is kind of when I, when I really found out about it. Like yeah. they told me when I was younger, but you know, they didn't really hit me then. Yeah. But I really got in high school, I'm like, dang, like he was the first black man. Like, so, you know, at that time, I'm like, dang, I want to. I want to ask him this question, like how I was like, and yeah. you know, he, him telling me what it really, really the real, like what it's like, you know, coming here, you know, at that point in time, um, you know, he would tell me stories about his first game. I, I, I can remember him telling me, I want to say the first game he was saying, he was like coming out to tell him, and all type of, you know, racial slurs and stuff like that. Um, but end up, you know, winning the game with a block field goal. So, you know, when I was uh, in the portal, mind you, I was in Pennsylvania, so I drove home while I was in Pennsylvania to Florida, but I stopped at his house first. He took me to uh, uh, a Pittsburgh Steelers they have a uh, camp, yeah. and I'm just oh yeah, as we I'm walking in, I'm I'm you know I'm I'm walking with him, seeing so many people coming up to him. I'm like, dang, bro, like oh really a legend? Like yeah. he like I'm like, okay, I know who he is now. He yeah. you know what I'm saying he like that. So you know knowing the magnitude of him and his his his, his nature, who he is, man, it is definitely like it was it was my boy, yeah. you know. I think it's just crazy, you know. He paved the way for all of us, you know. Obviously, you know how the season ended, you know, with the ACC championship, and um, you know us being left out of the playoffs, man. Uh, just just kind of take us through, bro. Just like how how you personally felt, you know, when the ACC championship, you like, man, like we really did it, bro. Like, you know, what I'm saying, like, we almost what we want to be, you know, what I'm saying, and you know, expecting them, like, okay, we finna be in the playoffs, and you know, that's like. Telling the kid, you know what I'm saying? No, you're not getting no candy. That's like shutting all his confidence down. And like that, that really hurt because I mean, in the video, they had it kind of showed me like I'm like, oh, like I'm like so in shock. Yeah. And I just, I went in my car, bro. I'm like, bro, we really don't play off. And I'm like, I got mad, bro. I, I got like, if you're like, like, because you know how we practice. We yeah, work. Bro, we work. We work. We work. Bro, bro, bro. We work. So like, I'm so like, we, I'm like, so we did all that work for nothing, not to just to you give get a chance. So like, you know, I called my parents, bro, and like, I don't never, I don't, I don't cuss in front of them, bro. I got so hot, bro. Like, I couldn't control words that came out my mouth. I'm like, and they weren't even mad. They understood. So yeah. I'm like, and like, then it, it also sucked at the end part because like, really couldn't, we didn't have, have no outlets. We couldn't talk to coaches. They was on the road recruiting. So like, what I felt, it was kind of hard to. Really express because like <clears throat> it was things I, I want to go back to my coach and say I really couldn't say it to him. You know, talking to person on the phone, two different things. Obviously, you know, we continue to play Georgia. You know, uh, that and you know, you was you was the main guy out there. You know, how was it just you know going out there with the O line? You know, uh, it's my last game, but also I you know I appreciate you you know being out there with us, brother. But you know, opportunity to, to go ahead and play you know a, a very very good Georgia team. How was that for you? It definitely was an experience. You know, what I'm saying being. And uh, Hard Rock Stadium, you know, playing playing with y'all, man, it it definitely was, it was something, you know. Obviously, we didn't come up with the outcome we, you know, we we wanted, but like, you know, getting to play, you know, playing the game that you you love and you've been wanting to do since a kid, man, it, it, it's a blessing, man. And you know, trying to have the most fun you can have, but you know, it it, it was good though. I want to apologize because it's one third down, but early in the game, dude, and we had checked it, we had checked the inside zone play, and. Uh, we just we messed the communication up up front, bro. But it would have it would have creased. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It would have been a big play, bro. So uh, my bad for that. Hey, one. bro. The hey. Communication on, on, up front. That ain't true, bro. Yeah. I, man, I watched that film, bro. Man, I was watching yesterday. I'm like that. It wasn't even y'all, bro. Yeah. I, I didn't even know the play. I'm telling. I'm like, yeah. bro. Hold up. What is yeah. it, bro? I'm, I'm, it, was loud, it, bro. it was loud. Yeah. It was loud. But you know, obviously, you know, like you said, that there's a lot of pain going through that. Uh, a lot of adversity. You're not, not really knowing how to. Just how to deal with it at the time, because like you said, the coaches immediately hit the road recruiting. Kind of just talk about that fuel going into this season. Personally, I'm fuel for sure. I remember a lot of words that were said, big big name people, you know, talking about us. So I definitely, uh, I got screwed. So I saw what people said. So mm -hmm. I'm not letting that go. And, you know, I think the team, the team we got right now, and who we are, we're, we're building that, especially with the work that we're doing now, building for that, you know, to come back for, 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 uh, for revenge, you know what I'm saying? Because being undefeated and not having at least a little bit of a chance to go showcase what we had, that that destroys the mindset. That just you know that that does a lot. So not just us, the coaches. We all want it. You know, we all want it back, and we're gonna get it back. We're gonna do it the right way, and we're gonna we're gonna shock the world. So going into the 2024 season, what can fans expect out of Kazai Holmes? Um, well, you know, what I'm saying I'm not too much to really talk about myself, but what's already understood ain't got to be said. You know, what I'm saying. I ain't gonna say I'm coming. Just yeah. know that for sure. Yeah. And what God got for me, work. for sure. God's plan.
Appreciate you guys checking out another episode of Behind the Visor with Big Meech.